and a trade bracelet. Mm -hmm. My name is Yu. I came here from Korea, a country far away. Soon after we settled in America, it was time to celebrate my birthday. I was hoping for a very special present, a jump rope. I watched the girls in my schoolyard turning such a rope and jumping and singing happily songs. I want, wanted so much to jump and sing with them, but I was still a new girl. I had not been invited yet. On my birthday, my mother called to me. Little you, come. I have a present for you. I clapped my hands and ran to her. She handed me something thin and flat wrapped in pretty paper. Happy birthday, she said. Jump ropes. Jump ropes are not thin and flat, I thought. I tried to not show my disappointment. Thanks, thank you, mother, I said, smiling. My mother watched excitedly as I opened the present. It was a Korean storybook about a little girl who was tricked by a tiger. I know that story, and I laughed at the silly girl. The pictures are colorful, I said. Yes, they remind me of the pictures of you draw you. I like the book, but my heart still longs for a jump rope. And here's another surprise, my mother said as he handed me a lovely box. Inside was a pale green bracelet. I held held its cool smoothness in my hand. A J, a J bracelet, you, my mother said. When I was a young girl, my own mother gave it to gave me this very bracelet. Now I'm give I am giving it to you. It's a wonderful present, I said. It was so wonderful I felt afraid to take it from her. Look, you, she said. Here's your. Here is your Korean name. Name now. Etched inside, she she showed me. And show me the dancing symbols that meant show, shining winsome. Then she told me the story of Jade. Aiden, use your index finger to point in the line you were gonna read. Jade is a stone from the earth, but it is called the gem of the heavens. Green is the color of happiness and hope, and it said that Lure and Jade will bring you a good luck. It's the symbol of truth and friendship. A price, a priceless gem for a priceless daughter. My mother, mother slid the bracelet onto my lips. At lunchtime the next day of at school, I sat at the end of the table. An older girl from another class sat down beside me. Oh, look, she said, you have, you're have, wearing a, such a pretty bracelet. Thank you, I said. You are alone today. I'll be your friend. Would you like to play drum roll with me? The older girl asked. Drum roll? Yes, yes, I answered. Good, I'll teach you. We'll have fun. Yes, I said. I said, smiling at the new sense, new friend, drum roll. After lunch, after lunch, after lunch, we ran outside, outside to play a while. Mm -hmm. The older girl tried one end of the rope to the Tied. fence, tied one rope to the end of the fence, and she gave me me the other end to turn turn. She jumped and sang while I turned faster, slower, faster. I turned that turn. My arm grew tired. I had learned the rope, rope pass very well, but I really wanted to learn to jump part. When will I jump? I asked. Tomorrow, the older girl said. The bell rang. 
and it was time to go inside. And she looked to the roof from me. Took the roof from me. I really like your bracelet. Bracelet, she said. An American friend shared things. If if we were going to be friends, you should share your bracelet with me. You should let me wear it, just for today. My birthday bracelet? Oh no 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 no! I could not share that. My mother's own mother has given it to her, and now it was mine. No no, I shook my head. Well then, how could, how can we be friends? The older girl asked. I thought you wanted to learn how, how to jump rope. I slipped the jade bracelet off and held it in my hand. My mother said it would bring me a good luck and good friends, but sharing it did not seem right. Quickly, the older, older girl grabbed the bracelet from me and twisted, twisted onto her. Own wrist. Do not worry," she said. "I will give it back tomorrow. <laughs> When I got hmm, got home from school, I went straight to my room. My mother came in to check on me. I sat on the as I as I sat on the bed reading my new Korean storybook. She reached for my arm and gasped. Where's your bracelet, Yoon? I struck with shame, not trusting myself to speak. Oh, I see a sad face. Did you lose it at school, Yoon? I shrugged again. Maybe it rolled away, and it's hiding somewhere here. She said with teary eyes. <laughs> and she kneeled to look under my bed. Mother, I said, tugging. Tucking her sleeve, I left it at school. I'll get it tomorrow. My next morning, I waited in the schoolyard for the older girl.、Mm-hmm. She was still wearing my jade bracelet. It's time to give give back my bracelet. I said. I will. Give it to you later," she said, rushing past me. All morning, my my heart was heavy with worry. I could not remember how to spell cat or how to add two plus two. <laughs> After lunch, when the children ran outside, I found the older girl again. "You have my bracelet, and I want it back," I said. "Stop bothering me. Do not be a pest." She pushed me away and laughed. I was just、so、like,、mean. yes. I was like the silly girl in my storybook. I had been tricked by a tiger. <clears throat> Back in my classroom, I laid my head on my desk. What's wrong, you? My teacher asked. I told the teacher about the older girl, and she sent for her. Do you have something that belongs to you? My teacher asked her. Is it her bracelet you are wearing? Oh no! The older girl said with her, her trickster tongue. It's mine. No, it's my birthday bracelet. I said. The children in my class gathered around us. You was wearing it yesterday. The, the ponytail girl said. Yes, said the freckled boy. I saw it too. Can you tell me something about this bracelet, Yu? My teacher asked. My mother gave it to me. I answered, looking into the tiger girl's face. This bracelet is a symbol of kindness and courage. It it is a symbol of brave friendship, a true friendship. Now you tell me about the bracelet, my teacher said. Said to the older girl, "Well, it's smooth and green." She answered in a sure voice. I roared. I worried I will never get my bracelet back. I did not feel like、um, feel like shining with them. My mother should have named me Shining Fool instead. And then I had a very good idea. I whispered something into my teacher's ear. 
So tell me about the inside of this bracelet, she asked to the older girl. Well, it's smooth and green, she repeated. The teacher told her to take it off, and the girl who struggled to get it over her hand. My teacher, teacher looked inside and saw the day's dancing Korean symbols. Do you know what this says? She asked the girl. No, the older girl said. Well, I thought it was my bracelet. I used to have one just like it. Maybe this one does belong to you. My teacher's eyes, eyes said, older girl, you are in trouble. And then my teacher just slid the gym bracelet e easily over my hand. Here is your name bracelet, Shining Winston. I fit it. Perfectly. Mm -hmm. My mother saw the bracelet on my wrist, on wrist after school. Mm -hmm. She clapped her hands. Aha! It was at school. Mother, I asked, <laughs> does wearing jade make wishes come true? Yes, she said. It's known to happen. She smiled. And what are your wishes? So I Mm, I told her about the jump rope, which and my wish were true friends. And I, I told her a story about a wise girl who tricked a tiger. The end. Okay. What's the meaning of the title?